I don't really like to talk shit, but I, I usually talk shit in the ring, you know? But. It's, it's like, I like this. Huh. Yeah, I'm And this one, he got like seven years old. We was in a tournament in Las Vegas. This one with Freddie Rush, he, he used to weigh 350 pounds right there. He become a cholo that he wants to beat people fighting in the streets. So I start changing his mind to return back to the boxing. When I was six years old, my dad's the one who took me to the boxing gym. The first two weeks, they made me spar. They beat the shit out of me. Now, fans and social media look at Andy Ruiz and say, oh, that, that chunky kid, what's he going to do? Andy Ruiz is an underdog, plus he took the fight on short notice. Ideally, you'd like to have four or five more weeks to train, although Andy Ruiz probably wouldn't be in much better shape if he had 10 weeks as opposed to six. I started believing in myself as soon as I started knocking guys out. It felt good, you know, especially knocking guys out that are really buff with six packs, a lot of muscle. Seeing the other people's reactions, they're like, whoa, like, how did this chubby kid do that? I think that gives me the drive too, you know, shocking people. We're the underdogs, so I mean, all the pressure on them. I mean, we're coming in very comfortable with the great preparation and mentality, very strong. When he was a kid, everybody told me he hit so hard. He always been a been a tough guy. They used to call it the destroyer because he destroyed everything. Andy's a type of boxer. One day he get in the ring, if you touch his face, he turn in a devil. He's gonna be angry. Andy is what you call a Mexican style boxer, giving their heart and soul, giving everything they have into a fight. We have everything to win and nothing to lose. Ruiz has that Mexican mentality where he does not enter the ring ever with any hint of self-doubt or fear. This guy's a real live dog, he's like 28, 29 years old. 32 fights, 31 victories, only one loss to Joseph Parker, and there's 20 odd knockouts there. He is a serious contender in the heavyweight division. It was a big deal when I fought with Joseph Parker in New Zealand. We knew the chances going to his hometown, he was gonna be the favorite. It was a very, very close fight. You could argue that Andy Ruiz should have left that ring with the WBO heavyweight title. He showed his speed, he showed he, he could take a punch, and he also showed that he could pressure a bigger guy. When Joseph Parker fought Anthony Joshua, I thought it was a really good fight, but I thought it was a better fight when me and Joseph Parker fought. That's when I knew in my heart that, you know what, I could do a lot better. I, I could beat this guy. He's a heavy set guy, but that's his build. That's what he's been given. So he's always gonna be like that. He can fight that kid. He's got all those skills. He can adapt. <laughs> I think that it's still a, a task for Joshua to crack this style. You know, when a guy's that short and he likes to weave and get on the punches, really tough for you to hit a guy down here, especially AJ, he's been fighting like big guys, you know? AJ is a cerebral guy, so we have to see how this affects him mentally. You know, having this newer, fresher guy, different, that you gotta train for. I feel like Ruiz, along with any fighter that fights me, will be 20% better than what I've seen. So I just can't underestimate him. He just seems to be a really fast fighter, and he puts on a lot of pressure. The guy has a very good boxing IQ. He had 110 amateur boxing bouts. You add that to his pro bouts as well, brings him to about 140 boxing matches. Anthony Joshua has had about 60. So there's a big difference in experience. He's not a, a one-punch knockout puncher, but he can box, and that's gonna trouble Anthony Joshua. 
I believe in my fighter. Will become the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. Push, 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 push. Ah, up, 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 up. To us, the fight couldn't have come at a better time. A minute and a half, okay? It's not really a short camp since I fought April 20th with Alexander Dimitrenko. It was a really big fight. Us fighting Dimitrenko was a good tuna fight. He's taller than Anthony Joshua. A really big guy, a really big guy. I see it as a huge advantage for Andy as far as the height and the length he's been there before. Thanks to God, we got the victory. The destroyer, Andy Ruiz. I did get him with a lot of right hands in his body. They said that I hurt his rib. We only had a week off, so we're, we're pursuing the, the training camp to June 1st. It kind of gives me the advantage since I just got some rust off. Anthony Joshua hasn't fought in eight, nine months. I feel I'm more sharp right now than I ever been. I'm mentally prepared for a war. Blood, sweat, and tears are gonna be in that ring. One thing I credit him for amongst all the others is that he found the courage to put his name on the dotted line. So there's something in him that he must know. In boxing, they say there's no place to hide, and that's where I'm gonna find out. I'm not going in there just for a payday. It's about the legacy and making history. And when I do get my hands raised on June 1st, I'll be the first Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. That's what's gonna be even bigger. This was what heavyweight championship boxing is about. He's getting the opportunity to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world, and he deserves it. Does he look like uh, Anthony Joshua? No, but he doesn't have to be. Anthony Joshua's biggest weakness is fighting me, a pressure fighter that's gonna go in there for the kill, for the knockout. So for all you haters, tune in June 1st, the biggest upset in Anthony Joshua's career. I'm gonna win, and I'm gonna be victorious. Fudged and still I was in camp